Hi friends, it's me, ex Dances. If you're new here, I post new doll-related videos every single day. And today's video is going to be an unboxing of a bunch of stuff that I bought from Mercari. Some of the boxes are already popped open so I can peek inside because you have to rate sellers after three days. And if you don't know what Mercari is, I like love shopping on there and you can see that because I'm always buying stuff on there and showing that off on this on in videos and um, I'll have a link in the description that's a referral link it benefits both of us but if you don't want to use it that's fine too I just genuinely really like Mercari um anyway today's video is going to include like I don't know you'll see it's stuff that I maybe have shown on the channel before but I haven't really shown in detail and then one thing is like one of my grail sets I was talking to one of my friends about it and he just randomly sent me the link so we'll start there actually I'll show you that stuff first because those are the dolls so if you want to see like fashion dolls it's this box but if you like don't want to see the other stuff then you're, you, you're good to go you were dismissed I totally understand anyway <laughs> well they are still dolls you'll see you'll see it's a really fun video I'm planning for the other stuff. Not that I was only buying them because of a video or anything, but uh, you'll see, you'll see. Okay, so we have five packages today. That's a lot. All right, let's see what's in here. I'm so excited. So these are a pretty obscure set of early Disney store dolls. And I found out about them a while ago because one of my friends like got one at a thrift store and someone identified them. And I was like, those are so cool. And that was probably like four or five years ago. And ever since I've just been watching for them i say friends like i've known this person personally it's one of my mutuals on um instagram i think it was one of the shops i follow actually anyway i've been like really looking for these ever since but they have a really generic name so let me pull them out of here and show them to you oh my god they're so much smaller than i thought they were sorry i opened the box just to make sure they were in here okay so these are so cute look at this so they really need to be cleaned quite a bit but i have the full set here today so my friend posted that he found one, uh, Mystical Morpheus. I'll link him in the description. You guys should follow him if you like Disney stuff because he has, like, the Disney collection. It's actually insanely impressive. And anyway, he... I, I was, like, talking to him about them. I was like, oh my gosh, I've been searching for these for years. They're so cool, but they're so hard to search for because what do you search for, right? Aurora doll? There's gonna be millions of different Aurora dolls that come up before this one. And then the real name of the line, I don't even think it had, a, like, a marked name, but it's just, like, purse princesses. They came with a little purse. Uh, and you can see that awesome early Disney Store tag. It's so cool. I don't actually know exactly when these came out, but I think it's somewhere in like the 2005 range. They're so beautiful. So here's Aurora. I cannot wait to wash these. They're pretty dirty, but they have most of their stuff. They're missing their shoes, most likely all of them. Um, okay, look at Ariel. I actually haven't even seen a lot of pictures of Ariel online, so I'm in complete disbelief that I'm holding her in my hands. Like, I'm not even sure if I knew before I was talking to Mr. Morpheus if... um. Ariel actually existed. So, oh my gosh, look at her. Her face is so pretty. And I love the hair color too. It's quite different. And then check out. Oh, interesting. That's like a, I don't know how to describe this. It's very like light. Oh, she's so beautiful. Hi, Ariel. Aren't the face sculpts just so fascinating? I love this experimental era from Disney Store. I hope that they do something like this again. Because you'll see like these, the Disney Pixie Stars, which I also have. Um, there's like several doll lines like this that are just really different. Oh, and the Ariel and her sisters, Little Mermaid dolls. I'll put a picture here. Those are like one of my top holy grails in all of dolls. They're just so different. Um, so there's so many early lines like this, but I am just so over the moon excited and grateful that he sent me this link and he said he was just looking through disney princess stuff as he must do often because he has a really cool collection and he stumbled upon this full set and they were super cheap too i was like actually in disbelief i think i paid like 30 dollars maybe this one has unfortunately some chew on her nose i felt like honestly i would have bought this even just for one at the price that it was and two of them have facial damage so cinderella as you can see has um maybe a chew here or maybe she like got scraped against something, and then she also has some red ink on her, but I think that will come off. Not too worried about that. Making her look like she has a little mustache, though. Wow, she has a lot of hair in this bun. And then, um, also, she does not- oh, look, she has some chew here, too. Um, she does not have her shoes. But I will say Cinderella and Belle are the most common ones from what I've seen, like, in people's collections and stuff. I'd never see these two, so I'm really excited. I figured, like, even though these had damage, I really, really wanted them anyway, and I'll probably find them again someday, but nude. It's really unlikely to find dolls with all their accessories, especially, like, the headpieces and stuff, so I took my chance. And then, lastly, this one's really bad. Oh, it's just paint. I really thought it was a gouge and paint, but no, that's just, like, wall paint. Okay, sweet. So that'll actually come off. So only Cinderella is not displayable, I think, if this can come off without peeling paint. Um, this is Belle. Belle is the one that I discovered the line because of, because somebody had found Belle at a thrift store and was like, oh my gosh, what is this cute doll? She also is our one that has shoes. 
I almost said shoes. No, she is the one that has shoe. Singular. She has a shoe. Anyway, aren't these so cute? I just thought they were so beautiful. And I never really thought I'd have them in my collection just because I didn't really know how to search for them. But I should definitely be less lazy as a doll collector and start looking through things like Disney Princess uh, or like Disney doll or mermaid doll, you know, to try to find my girls. Because the way you find girls for cheap is through means like this. And I am just so, so grateful. So thank you so much to Mystical Morpheus again. We've been mutuals for quite a long time on Instagram, I think. And um, he has really cool stuff on his um, social media, so you should check it out. And yeah, thank you so much again, seriously, for sending me this link. Like, it means a lot to me. I know you were looking for these dolls too. And I think he completed his collection right before he sent me this link, actually. But you know, like, he has a lot of his inbox, or at least got them inbox. So and it was just really, really kind and like altruistic to send me this link, and I appreciate it so, so much. Alrighty, next package is this one. This one I actually haven't opened yet. This, okay, so. I'm not going to say too much about the history of these because you'll see it's going to be on my channel soon. <laughs> uh, but I bought these because I've been wanting them for a long time and they've inspired a video. So these are Mattel's Little Pretty Kitties and there's three of them in here. I actually paid quite a lot for these compared to what you would think. So like, for example, I paid like 30 to in total for these. I think I paid like 40 for these three cats. Um, but I love these. They're, they're not obscure per se, but they're pretty hard to find, at least for like cheap prices. The way I found out these existed, by the way, was from buying My Little Ponies when I was younger. They would just come in the lots with them. Uh, and these were Mattel's response to My Little Pony, basically. Uh, so yeah, so these are made by Mattel, 1989 right there. And look, so I bought this lot because it was listed with some ponies and I messaged the seller and I was like, hey, I already have all the ponies in your lot, but I don't have any of the kitties. Would you be willing to separate? And I never usually ask sellers to separate because I don't know, I, I find it rude. But they said yes. And I was like, thank you so, so much. And I paid... Uh, what I paid, which I'm not mad about what I paid, by the way. It's just like, if you're explaining just to a stranger, like, I paid, I don't know, like $7 for this. I paid like $15 for this, you know. I don't think I overpaid. I think it was a really good price, and I'm so grateful to the seller for working with me on this one. Uh, but look how cute. So they mostly have little nose rubs, which is pretty standard, and I can't wait to fix their hair. We need to do a hair fixing video before I do the actual video that I'm planning with these. And then here's a little one. I don't have any of these little ones yet, so I was really excited about this one. And you can see... Like, they're My Little Pony-ish. How cute is this one? I wonder if her um, hair is cut or if it's just short like this. I don't know. Regardless, I think it's a really cute style. And this one's actually in really good shape once I clean her. I think she'll turn out really, really nice. Aren't these so funny? And they have rooted tails, which is weird. Like, the My Little Ponies don't have rooted tails. They just have two pieces... Or, like, they have a long piece of hair folded over itself and then stuck through a hole with a washer or something else holding it in, so... It's really funny that these have the rooted tail. And then this one has a bow. I don't know if they came with ribbons, but if they did, that's awesome because that means I have the original. Not that it's really that serious, right? Like, it's it's a ribbon. <laughs> I could just go buy ribbons. Uh, this one's actually in really good condition, too. She has a B symbol. We should probably point out their symbols. Hold on. This one's a bib with a little duck inside. And this one's a little rose. This one was my favorite one. I just really liked the mint green color. I felt like it was really unusual. Also, their hair is dirty. Look at that. There's another lot in here that I already opened to make sure it was okay. And um, let me sweep all this out of the way. I need a vacuum in here. Um, and uh, it's very, very dirty. You'll see. But aren't these so cute? I'm so excited about these. And in the same vein, I have this box here, also from Mercari. And we'll get to this in a second. I know this is weird. This is a little pretty... I don't know what they're called, but it's from the same line. It's Little Pretty something, or Little Pretty's the name of the line. Is that a butterfly? That's actually really cute. This is a dog. So there were dogs in the line too. You can see the rubber bands are still in place, but they're dry rotted and the factory curls are in place too. So I think if I'm really gentle when I wash this, these really beautiful ringlet curls will actually stay in place. I'm not as into the dog ones, but this is a really, really cute toy regardless. And yeah, so I've added four Little Pretties to my collection. I only had like two before, and then I got one at a thrift store kind of recently, so... I, I'm living right now. I'm so excited to have more, more kitties. Cause hello, you've made a My Little Pony into a cat and you've like, yes, that's what I needed. Okay. And then this is highly unusual. <laughs> this is a sweetie kitty. These were made by Hasbro. So these are like Hasbro making another attempt at, I think they are anyway. Yeah. Hasbro. And this is also marked 89. Um, this is an attempt by Hasbro to, you know, have similar success to My Little Pony and they're not like, I just wanted more of these. These are, like, another genius attempt by Hasbro to do something like My Little Pony. Unfortunately, these didn't, like, take off or anything, but these are amazing. They have, I don't know if it's yarn or yakky hair texture. It's hard to say because it is um, 
quite matted on this one and I don't really know how to wash this. If you've ever washed a little pretty kitty, not the little pretty, or, or sorry, not a, this is a sweetie kitty. Um, if you've ever watched a sweetie kitty or one of the sweetie puppies, if they have hair like this, I do have some sweetie puppies, but they have like smooth nylon, so I'm not sure. Um, but if you've ever washed like a perfume puff pony or this, can you let me know how, how, how you do it? Cause I really want to wash her. Um, and I want the hair to stay fluffy like this, but it's not where it is. And also it needs to be clean. Do I just kind of soak her in water? Do I brush the hair? I don't know. Uh, I bought this lot, not only because it came with a little pretty, which was a score, but I, I just fell in love with this one. This is a cotton candy kitty. Like I, I, I really like sweetie kitties. I only have one. I have a yellow one and I really love her. And I've had her for years because I got her with a My Little Pony lot that I got when I was like 13. Uh, cause my dad was always helping me, um, find G1 My Little Ponies, which I'm so grateful for. And I, I didn't know this was actually rooted in. So that's really interesting actually. So that means I can brush it at least. I thought it was some kind of disgusting, like fur thing that was just glued on, but I guess this makes sense. Cause otherwise it would come off. Anyway, my dad would always help me find G1s when I was younger. Gosh, this is so highly unusual. Look at this. So this is separate. I'm sorry. I just never really thought about the anatomy of them. Anyway, my point is I got a sweetie kitty in a lot and I was like, this is so cute. Um, my sweetie kitty from when I was younger though, I didn't really play with her much because I didn't know how to wash her. So I was like, I don't want to hurt her. And she's kind of like been not washed well for like 30 years, 40 years at this point. Um, so I just kind of did a preliminary wash with like soap and just left her alone. All right, I need to go get something from the other room, which is another Mercari like box that I forgot to like show you guys. I forgot to bring it over here, but it's super cool and weird. So let me go get it, I'll be right back. All right, y'all. If you thought little pretty kitties or sweetie kitties were freakish, buckle up because these are darling dinos. Okay, so these are from the 90s, I think. So they're a little later than the other things. And aren't they incredible? Aren't they a work of art? These are a absolutely fascinating response to My Little Pony. And they are quite different. I'm not saying like, oh, they were copying My Little Pony. No, but you can see a trend happened. And yeah, so unfortunately I have some yellowed bubbles here, but I was like, even out of box, this many of them, especially the large one for like $40 was a steal. I love Mercari so much. Um, and just look at them, look at them. So I got two of Bronte and then these little mini ones, which I guess are, I don't know. I don't know if they're the, these characters or not, but um <laughs> darlin dinos is so fascinating they're so incredible i mean if bronte is supposed to be a brontosaurus then we're not even close but it's the heart that counts anyway they're still on cards so they're not really something i could show very well um i think the bottom of the card says 92 right there and they're made by a company called meredith i'm not sure if they got absorbed by another company or what but okay let me read you the premise i think you need to see it Darlin dinos are sweet and lovely girl dinosaurs who are living in the present era. They were hidden by their parents in order to protect them. They reemerged recently when a construction crew dug them up. The dinos were still alive, and they had not aged in all that time. Darlin dinos, T-Rex and the Tyrannosaurus, uh, Bro Bronte, the Brontosaurus, and Tri Sarah tops the triceratops are pretty and fun to play with. They have lovely sparkling jewels, and their long, colorful hair is fun to style too. These dinos are just Darlin. Darlin dinos. Yeah, so these are just incredible. I discovered they existed like 10 years ago and I was just like, wow, these were made for me. So the one that I already had was like a pink triceratops, triceratops. <laughs> um, but I don't know where she is. I feel like maybe she um, didn't stay in my collection or something because sometimes my dad would sell some of the stuff at his toy store, but I don't know. Uh, but aren't they just the strangest, most incredible things? And you guys know I am a paleontologist in real life. Um, not a like a vertebrate paleontologist or anything, but still. These are so cool. So these are kind of the standard size. And then this one, like gem dazzlers are kind of like one of the more standard ones. And then sweet talkers are like big ones, unusual ones. But this is my, this one is so frustrating. The card on this one is bent. It's not in super good condition, but the bubble is perfect. It is lifting a little bit, but like, look at it. It's pristine. It's really rare to have bubbles like this, not yellow over time. So what a shame. What a shame, but it's okay. Um, these are so, so cool. I love the box art. They're just so ridiculous and fun. So had to buy those. Um, and again, there you'll see, you'll understand why I bought all that. <laughs> well, not only because I want them for my collection, but there's like a specific video that I've been um, writing and working on and they are pertinent to it. You'll see. Okay, next we have... Okay, so this next lot I bought from Great Britain. I knew it was going to be gross, but it's quite gross. Like, it's quite a bit grosser than I um, envisioned. So 
um, just know, like, I've cleared the table, all the, the, all the other toys are off the table, um, and I'll have to wash this table and everything afterward, and myself, because I think they might have some mold. Um, so, let me explain what these are. So, the reason I bought these, even though they're pretty dirty, is because... When I was a kid, like, one of my f earliest memories are these little mermaid dolls that are very obscure called Magic Merbabies or just Merbabies. Uh, depending where you live, they have a different name. They're made by Hasbro. I think they came out in 2001 through 2003, so that's, like, I was very, very young. I was born in 1999, right? I received mine, which is the U.S. set that I have, um, for potty training prizes, if that uh, gives you a sense. And that's how young I was. <laughs> and, um... I love them, but I have the full U.S. set. Like, they they didn't really release a whole lot in the U.S., but they released a lot of them in, like, other countries, especially in Europe. And they're really, really hard to get a hold of because, you know, people don't know what they're called well enough to sell them unless they're new in box, which I've been very fortunate to find quite a few new in box. Also, I bought these off of eBay. Everything else in this video is from Mercari. These were from eBay because I bought them from Britain. They're really, really, really gross. They are bath toys, so they did not uh, stand the test of time. Um, but I got a really good price on all of these. I was so excited. I paid, I think, $40 for everything in here, which, let me tell you, like, I've been trying to get these for years, so I'm really excited about it. Anyway, um, yeah, this line is so incredible. So, first of all, I got a play set. It's not one of the play sets that I've been looking for, because I don't know how the heck I'm going to display this thing. Because they're bath toys, they are... Um, they have a lot of cool features that are meant to, like, stick to the walls of your bathtub, and this thing is also very gross. Um, but this is, like, a little Ferris wheel, and it, it has all of the seats, at least, which is nice. I think it's missing one of the little hooks, maybe? No, it has them, it has them all, because there's two there, and then one here, and your little dolls can sit in here. I really like this fish thing. It's cute. Um, but it's really, really dirty, so I'm gonna move it aside. Um, and then there's a note that says they found, um, extra things, um, in addition to what I bought and threw them in, which I really appreciate. Okay, anyway get started with my British mermaids. First of all, this was an extra that was not in the picture, so I was really excited about this, except uh, it doesn't have the hair. So this is a little floaty, I think it's a seahorse. I'm not sure. Uh, I know you're probably thinking, like, what? It, it has, like, a that that tail doesn't make it a seahorse. You'll see. You'll see. It's one of the campi campiest things about this line, actually. Um, and I've been dying for this next thing that I'm going to show you. Um, there's a, there's like three varieties of this, and this one is very off the wall. There's one that's my absolute favorite that I would die to have, but I haven't even seen it for sale. Okay, this is a real find. This is a real gem. So, <laughs> this is a mer hippo, and it acts as a, um, like a water shooter as well, I think. But look, <laughs> and it's shaped like, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not going to say the word, but yeah, it's a, it's a water shooter. <laughs> Isn't this fascinating? Yeah, so all of the pets and, like, other animals in Magic Mermaids are also mermaids. Even if they're fish or a seal or an underwater animal already that is already equipped to be underwater, they got you. They, they are mermaids. All right, so let's get to the merbabies. I have most of these already. Um, there's a few that I did not already have, and the hippo was the main reason I bought the slot. Um, okay, so let's get into it. So, I don't remember all their names off the top of my head. Like, um, they all have names like Sea Dreamer, Sea Star, um, Sea Mist. Sea Mist is the one with the light pink hair, I'm pretty sure. I don't. Anyway, here's the blue one. I had this one when I was a kid, so this was one of the ones released in the U.S. as well. And they're just so cute! So this is what the dolls look like. And they have little mermaid tails that you can put on them, but... They're very, very cute little dolls. And you guys know I don't like baby dolls, but these are the exception for me. They are amazing. Okay, this is Jade. I know Jade. Oh, and they have different names in the UK, by the way. If you're like, their names are not Sea Mist and Sea Star, they have different names. Um, Like, this is Jade. That doesn't match the naming scheme of the US ones, now does it? So this is Jade. I do have her. I managed to get her from a like seller on Instagram years ago, and I was just so glad. It was like 2017, uh, because I had been like longing to have the US set for a long, long time. So it was really cool. And then, oh, and I'll attach an information page about these in the description. Um, Ghost of the Doll is a really amazing doll-like resource for, like, 90s, early 2000s, 90s, 80s, <clears throat> different types of, like, doll lines. You get a lot of really cool stuff on there. Okay, this one, I'm pretty sure, is Seamist. Uh, she was the one from the U.S. set that I did not have, and now I have her because I got her a few years ago. She's pretty dirty. Um, but they have their full hair, which is good because the hair actually falls out pretty easily. Um, and then this one I did not already have. I think she might have been the one that came with the 
the hippo, but I'm not sure. But unfortunately, she has a haircut. Um, I could probably, like, it wouldn't even be a reroute. Uh, put more hair in her head. I'm not sure how they do it, actually. But the, the head's actually come right off because the, let's see. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. We're just going to not. Oh, okay. Well, look at that. The hair actually didn't get cut. Um, whatever fiber they used, it, yeah. Um, this happens with some nylons. I don't know what material this they have. Um, it's pretty soft when it's in good condition, though, so I suspect it's nylon. But anyway, that actually might be the same color that does it for My Little Pony G3. Um, Daisy Dreams specifically does it. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate, but it's a thing. Okay, I'm gonna put her head back on because I feel bad. Well, not back on. I'm just gonna put her off camera. Sorry. Okay. Let me clean my work. Sorry, guys. I warned you it was going to be kind of gross. They're bath toys. The same thing happens if you buy, like, sea ponies from Generation 1 of My Little Pony. Okay. Then we have this blonde one. Pretty sure I have this one. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't displayed my babies in a while. I need to double check. Um, also, some of the tails can be different. I'm pretty sure across different country makes, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, this one's kind of an oddball. I'm not 100% sure. And then this one was my favorite one when I was a kid. And yeah, here she is. She is super, super cute. I think this one was the one that was named C. Oh, no, this is Sea Fire in the U.S. I think this is Sea Star. Hmm. Um, no idea what her name is in, um, in the U.K. They were also really, like, popular, I think, in, like, Germany and stuff. They, they just did not hit in the U.S., I guess, but they are so cute. Their packaging is so cute. I have their packaging, but I unboxed the ones that I bought new in box a while ago because they were childhood dolls. I was getting them back. Okay, the rest of the stuff in the bag... All right, the rest of the stuff in the bag are the clothing, the pets. There's one more mermaid who I'm saving, and then the little baby ones. I'm not sure what the deal is, because you'll have, like, a mermaid baby, but then also a baby for that baby. Um, <laughs> I don't know. There's also, like, a bride one. I'm not really sure what the deal is. It's just fun. It's, like, silly and not supposed to be taken seriously. Anyway, I did not have this set. Don't... Maybe they came with the dark pink-haired one? I'm not sure. Um, I don't have any that look anything like this, actually. You can see that their head and body mismatch is pretty bad. I don't know if it was like that before or not. Um, I imagine these actually did not come with tails. These probably were just little babies. I don't know. Cute, though. I don't really even display the babies that I have, honestly. I might when I have a better display for them. And then this one. So these ones come with, like, small tails, so I'll show you. I don't know which tail goes to who at this point, but see? Little mermaid tail, and there's a really cool play feature with these, by the way. Each tail has this little mesh pouch, and they would come with a little, like, basically a bath bomb, but it was, like, specifically meant to color the water. They were Crayola, I think. Um, they would come with a little bath bomb, so when you put it in the tail and would make the doll swim, the color would, like, stream behind them. It's really cute. Um, I never got to do that as a kid, though, because it was quite messy, so I think my mom was like, no. <laughs> Which, fair. I didn't even know it existed until I was a lot older trying to figure out what those dolls were. Um, here's the two pets we got. So this is the, <laughs> the mer puppy <laughs> and the mer seal. Um, I have both of these ones. Uh, they're quite messy. So I think the puppy maybe came with her because I had the puppy when I was younger. And then the seal, I think, came with her. It would make sense the colors match, but don't quote me on that. I don't 100% remember. And uh, there's also a mer fish, which is incredible too. Um, and then the seller said that they found an extra body, but not the doll that goes to it. So uh, when she finds that heads years later that head years later um yeah <laughs> and then we have our beautiful queen i when i opened this earlier i dressed her <laughs> um uh because i was just so excited so i think i i think actually this is the one that came with the hippo she either came with the hippo or that and this one's weird because she comes with the top none of them wear tops um i mean from the u.s set anyway so this is one of the like special ones so she came with a crown I think she came with tinsel in her hair, which is pretty cool, which means she's going to be harder to wash. And then this is her tail, which I'm really glad her tail was in here. I think basically all the tails are in here. Let's see. So anyway, I'm so excited about this doll. Isn't she gorgeous? She either came with the playset or with the hippo. I don't know 100%. But anyway, basically bought the lot for the hippo and her. <laughs> but there's a lot of cool stuff in here. So, oh, <gasps> is this? Maybe they did come with tails. Oh, by the way, these dolls specifically are the reason that I will, like, dog on uh, cellophane being used, by the way, on doll clothes, because, as you can see, it separates. Um, I didn't... Mine, from when I was younger, actually stood the test of time really well. Like, I, they stayed in good condition. But I lent them to my sister to play with when I was, like, earlier in my doll collecting years. And she was very young, but she absolutely destroyed them. And I was really sad about it, because <laughs> they were my childhood ones. Um, that's very cute, the little tail. It doesn't fit super well, though. 
And then we have this pink tail, which I think is hers. But yeah, so you can see when they have their little tails on and they didn't come with tops again. They're just they're just mer babies, you know, they're just doing their thing. Yeah. And then we have a purple tail. This one's really cool. So this one probably goes to her. I don't remember her actually. It might be hers. Because this, I think, is Seafire's tail, if I recall correctly, from when I was a kid. Maybe not. Um, I'm just going to, like, temper, like, <laughs> preliminarily match tails, but I don't think I'm right. Um, see, this one is different. So these are, like, the different lines. So each different line would have, like, different types of tails. So this one has a little rose. I don't know who the heck's tail this is. Um, but I'm just pairing them with random so that we can see, like, if I have every tail. Okay, so I'm definitely missing at least one full-size tail, possibly more. Oh! That's the Mer Kitty. This one came with light pink hair over here. Um, so, like, this tail... It's got that, like, reflective. And then this one goes to, like, this size, I think. Yeah, so, like, this one, or maybe this one. I don't know. Um, it's always good to have extra tails lying around, so if I buy more of these secondhand someday. Um, but, yeah, so... That lot is quite disgusting. I'm sure if I pull more of their heads off, I'll find mold. I'm going to heavily um, clean these really, really good. Um, I might do a video on mold cleaning because I actually have another doll who um, needs it. Um, so and we'll see. I might just clean these immediately because I don't want to have to wait to like have time to film it because they're like really gross. I didn't even show you. The other side of the hippo is like actually alarming. I was trying my best to avoid showing you that. Um, they definitely need a lot of work. Uh, a lot of times if you're collecting something pretty obscure or especially something from overseas, you have to take what you can get. And these are very, very special to me. I love them. They, they're they like, I'm not super nostalgic about a lot of dolls. You guys know that because I wasn't really a doll person as a kid. Um, I'm specifically nostalgic about like My Little Pony and Little's Pet Shop. I didn't really have a whole lot of dolls and I wasn't that into them. I There are exceptions. Like I love my Fairytopia dolls and my Magic of Pegasus dolls, but like I wasn't super a doll person. But these were different. I was a bath taker. I loved playing with my bath toys and my mer babies were like my thing and I loved them so much. So having the ones that weren't released in my country that are even cooler and have more going on just like is really special to me. So I've been trying my best to collect them, but it's been hard because um, every time I find good ones, they just are like, we don't ship, like, I'm not going to ship to the US. And I'll be like, please, please, but they won't. Um, so it's a shame, but maybe someday I'll find more. This was a really impressive lot. It has a lot of stuff. They're very, very dirty, but the f I don't mind that they're dirty, honestly, because again, if something's dirty, it can be cleaned. But the fact that these actually come with their stuff, like, most of the tails are here, a lot of the pets are here, like, an impressive amount of the pets, the little itty-bitty babies, it's really cool. It's a shame this one's hair came out, but I can always reroute. Um, I imagine this probably had the dark pink hair that this one has, which, again, like, um, this fiber, I know. I know of it being a problem. One of my rare babies actually had this. I think Sea Fire um, had that problem where it was, yeah, see? Um, it's just something that happens over time, and I think these are exacerbated by the fact that they are bath toys, so they get really, like, chemicals and conditioner and shampoo and soap and things in their hair but i have no idea anyway <laughs> that's it for this video thank you guys so so much for watching i'd love to know if you stayed to the end like what was your favorite i assume it was something more lukewarm like um these really beautiful purse princess i just aren't they amazing i love this early disney store stuff and i'm sure there's other doll lines that from this era that i don't even know about that are also really cool i just i love all these weird weird things i'm gonna stop touching the other things with my um, mer babies grime hands i don't even want to pan the camera down and show you how weird the filming space has gotten there's like a pile that i've been sweeping everything into i'm not just sweeping it onto the floor um it's like ugh. it's mostly hair though i will say it's uh it's mostly this poor baby's hair anyway that's it i think my favorite thing today um yeah i think it's ariel that and probably the sweetie kitty okay for all this time thanks so much for watching bye oh and again if you are interested in finding like weird stuff like this just scrolling through um ebay is where i got the mer babies because they're from overseas and then mercari if you live in the u.s or i think there's mercari in other countries too so well i know there is but i'm not sure what countries i think i know japan has it but there's like others anyway i love mercari i have a referral link it benefits both of us and yeah if you want to use it okay for all this time thanks so much for watching bye